Welcome to day two of the tour of the Sunshine State, uh, an event organised by the uh, Historic Rally Association of New South Wales and ACT, I think. Um, this is day two. The uh, participants have gathered here bright and early. I think it's uh, four or eight o'clock to uh, head out on uh, day two. Day one was a bit on the wet side and uh, the dirt road element of the event had to be uh, cancelled and all the participants uh, travelled by the uh, bitumen road route and even that had its problems. Uh, but today the uh, weather is looking uh, a lot better and so uh, it's uh, on to the uh, original plan of either doing a bitumen road uh, route or uh, a dirt road or partial dirt road route depending on uh, the individual crews. Uh, Liz Moore here at the start of day two and uh, Everyone's heading off towards Toowoomba, which is in Queensland. Um, this will be an interesting day for everyone, particularly the dirt road travellers. Uh, the lunch break is at uh, Woodenbong, if I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> And uh, so it should be an interesting day for everyone. I unfortunately will be uh, missing the first section as the car had a flat tyre this morning and uh, that will need to be fixed. So I will meet up at the uh, lunch break and uh, Hopefully have a good afternoon. Great to see all these old classic cars out and being used. That's what they're for. And a good cross section of uh, classic cars are taking part in this event. Lots of Peugeots, of course. And there's the old Triumph getting its tyre fixed. Had a nail in it. Well, welcome to uh, day two of the uh, uh, tour of the Sunshine State. It's uh, day four of my epic trip. Uh, had a flat tire this morning take it to a tyre company to fix it, had some nail or something in it. And I've also got no headlights, I've just spent, I don't know, three quarters of an hour fiddling around with them. I, I can't work out what's, I, I, I know what's wrong but I can't find the problem so um, I've decided to try and catch up. I'm heading to Woodenbong. I think it's called, just on the main highway, or main road, um, and according to the nav man I should get there around the time the first cars are getting there, or middle of the field sort of thing. I'll get there in time to grab something to eat and pick the route up again. I need to be mindful of the daylight, because I've got no headlights. So, there's another two sections after that. I need to have a look at how long they're supposed to take and work out whether I'll need to uh, maybe only do one of them and then head to Toowoomba. Uh, there's power at the relay, like I think I said, and, and there's power.
power going out of the relay to the headlights, but it's not, the headlights aren't working, so I need to find that wire and possibly just put a new wire there, or I might have to just get some alligator clips and get some direct power from somewhere. I will live with it, I think. Lunch break here at Wooden Bong. It was a very good uh, lunch venue. And apparently the first section was uh, of uh, great interest, great roads. Pity to have missed out on it. See how far I'm going? Yeah, fuel pump trouble. I might have been watering the fuel from the uh, cheap fuel in Lismore, but I think it'll be alright. What about windscreen wipers? We had some trouble? No, yeah, it wouldn't turn off. That's not a problem. Not a problem now? Not a problem now. <laughs> what did we do? Fiddle with the wiring. No, okay. As you do it. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, welcome back to uh, the uh, tour of the Sunshine Coast. And due to my flat tyre and other problems, I bypassed the first section today. Now picked it up and uh, at Wooden Bong, and I'm now following the dirt road section. Well, percentage of dirt road. Um, I'm following my fellow Triumph owner in front and heading out of wooden bong towards I don't know where and uh, we'll see what the afternoon brings now I have programmed one of the navmans to do this section. Unfortunately, it's not right. I just turned it on and made it work. And it's the first time I've attempted to use it in this event, in any event. And uh, it says the trip is 75 k's where the instructions are talking 95 k's. So obviously when I programmed it, I it went somewhere and I didn't notice that it was deviating off the route. It's not made to do it. I'm surprised that the people that make these things haven't thought about people like us that are doing these sorts of things. The whole thing is geared around the most efficient method, the quickest method, the shortest method. And it just also is a bit of a nanny device that wants to keep you on on main roads so any deviation off onto a dirt road and it's sort of oh no you can't do that um, and even though I've told it dirt roads are fine I've told it to no, do no U-turns um, it will still track back to the main road um, and it, it okay it's got an out of bounds system in it well that is enormously difficult to use it is not friendly at all um, and when I tried to do it, and persevered trying to do it, it again gave me, and, and, and then it would come up with, you know, the route cannot be calculated. So, I, I did actually give up on it, but I did feel, I thought I'd had this one done, um, but I don't. So it'll be interesting to see where it does deviate from. Anyway, I'll uh, catch up with you a little bit further into the section. Well, here we have the uh, afternoon section here. A few cows in the way. And at last, some dirt road to drive on. Uh, nothing like a bit of dirt road for an old rally driver. Can't resist it. A few cow pats here and there just to uh, 
add to the smell of uh, the undercar when it comes time to clean it. Well, just leaving a town that I don't know the name of. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, end of the, what is in fact the third section. We're now in the Sorry, that we're now in the third section on our way to Toowoomba. It's a bitumen section. Um, our overdrive has now failed. It's electrical again. It was in overdrive all the time, which is a real no no. Um, so. I reefed the uh, top of the gear knob off, which cut the circuit. Uh, and now there's no overdrive, so the poor old bugger's revving itself to bits. So today's been a bit of an adventure. We got no overdrive, no headlights, and we had a black tire. So <laughs> but we should make Toowoomba with easy daylight and. Uh, and that'll be it. Their last section had a lot of dirt road in it and unfortunately the GoPro was suction cup to the windscreen it fell off and I couldn't stop because I had to keep up with the car I'm following which I wasn't doing anyway um, so I couldn't get any video, uh, sort of video from the, the GoPro uh, but hopefully the uh, Canon camera that's on the roll cage should uh, have got some vision. And I was too busy to talk to the camera, to be honest. Um, it was uh, a bit of a ride. Lots of causeways, lots of grids, a bit of mud here and there. And... Uh, yeah, and warp speed. So, anyway, we're coming up towards the uh, end of day two of the tour and day four of this epic road trip. And anyway, I'll catch up with you a little bit further in just before we get to Toowoomba. So, uh, see you then. Well, welcome back to the uh, tour of the Sunshine Coast and we are actually in the Sunshine Coast and even though the clouds there and there's the odd spit of rain it is sunny and quite warm. Anyway, I'm on the sort of final approach here into uh, Toowoomba uh, we're about 10-15 k's out and, uh, uh, well, all is well. Uh, it's been an interesting sort of a day. Uh, when you uh, follow an event like this using a route chart, and not an expanded sort of a map. Your sort of geographic barometer of, of where you are and in relation to the nearest town or whatever, it becomes all muddled up. Muddled up. Yeah, you know, if you'd asked me that I was not that far from Toowoomba, I would be saying, well, I don't know. I wouldn't have thought so. At any rate, enough of that. Um, yeah. So today's uh, <laughs> major happenings are uh, the uh, flat tyre, the motel. Uh, skipping the first section in order to have that fixed. Played with the headlights and didn't succeed in fixing them. 
and uh, now the overdrive's gone. Uh, so luckily I have been able to get it out of overdrive, so the car is usable. It's not as nice, the overdrive's really nice, and uh, it's sort of going to use more petrol. But, that's light. I, I'm going to make no attempt to fix that. Other than to <laughs> fix the daggy old gear stick from the way it is at the moment. Make it easier to change the gears. Enough for my twaddle, I think. And, uh, I'll, uh, see you tomorrow for day three of this event. And uh, so uh, I'm cracking my line. Bye for now. And here we are at the end of uh, day two in Toowoomba, Queensland. Very much bigger town than I expected it to be. Having never been uh, there before. Competitors here or participants are straggling in. So tomorrow, back at this location for the start of day three. Well that brings us to the end of day two of the tour of the Sunshine State. Try saying that fast. Uh, I'm here in Toowoomba where the participants are slowly coming in. Uh, it's been an eventful day I have to say and so I will catch up with you again tomorrow. I'm Quack McMullard. Bye for now. Well that brings us to the end of day two of the tour of the Sunshine Coast. No, it's bloody not. Well that brings us to the end of day two of the tour of the Sunshine Shun 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 Shun